Okay. Well, this is definitely seeing better days. That's pretty much stuck in there. I don't know if I'll be able to get that out. Of course, these plastic things are broken, which sucks. That is rusted all to hell. The coil, uh, I don't know if it's good or not, but the plate is completely cracked. I don't know if you can see that completely cracked. So, <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, looks have been deceiving. I mean, I mean, if this trigger works, then we're in good shape. Uh, if it doesn't work, then it's just another distributor. But uh, the problem is, it's completely locked. Like, you can't turn this for nothing. Um, so I'm going to soak it in some oil. Actually, I'm going to soak everything <laughs> in, in penetrating oil. Um, the carbs, I'm really, not, really not sure what I'm going to do here. They have the uh, top caps here. I'm actually missing the bottom cap, but I think I might have an extra one. Maybe I'm contacting a rich L4, see if he can get me the uh, third cap, and then I can ultrasonically clean these or soak them for, you know, like two years to get them to come free. So that's what this video is all about, is testing old ignition systems, uh, just seeing if we can make something happen. And like I said, if the trigger works on this, this is worth the gamble because they're $400 a piece. And if this works, excellent um now obviously looks can be deceiving but don't judge a book by its cover okay so the first uh, line of business uh whatever is the easiest i'm going to test this uh switch box Okay, so I've lubricated every nut and bolt. I pushed a lot of uh, oil down down into the uh, the bearings here. As you can see, the switch box has oil all over it because I'm gonna have to get the switch box off this faceplate since it's cracked, which is weird. Like, why would it be cracked? But if you look at these bolts, they are rusted. Like you're rusted on. I mean, they're. I seriously doubt they're going to come off, but again, I'm not trying to judge a book by its cover. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, let's get it done. Okay, so I have the ground hooked up. I go to the battery. I have the ground to the coil right here. And then I have this coil, which I have no idea works, which I'm going to ground to the ground here. See if I can twist this around. Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright, so the ground is hooked up. This is gonna get. Okay, so now I just have to supply power power to it. Um, I just have to connect these two here with the ground wire. I'm gonna use alligator clips for that. And this is still soaking even though it fell down, which is still tight. So that tells me there's some work going on there. <sighs> Alright, so this side's hooked up. So we should get the power flow in here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is jumper the uh, white and the red. Let me see that there. White and the red, which may or may not give to the rust. Oh shoot, I lost my ground. white and the red. Now I need to jumper the
Okay, so I'm going to test it here just to make sure we got 12 volts on both the red and white terminal. Good, 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 good. Okay. So everything's hooked up. So it's moment of truth. We are watching the uh, spark down here. I want to zoom in the camera on that. Okay, so now that the switch box is powered on both ends here. Okay, if the coil is working and switch box is working, then when I tap uh, this end on the ground, it should, it should spark. Which is not looking good. Wait, I heard something. Come on, give me something. Let me take this screw off. Uh, okay, screw this off. So now I have a direct connection. Okay, so I got nothing there. Alright, so now we're going to switch to a coil that does work. Okay, so what I did was clip the tie off. I'm going to shove this real deep down in here just to make sure these coils are pretty much they're really indestructible. So I mean, I just want to make sure. Okay, so now I need to ground this again on to on the ground here on the switch box okay <clears throat> all right so now i'm powering on the switch box okay Is everything hooked up right we got power Power. So now we should need to ground it and see if we get something right here. Okay, and we got nothing even though this is jammed all the way down in there. Okay, I'm going to disconnect the power. Put in a coil that does work. Okay, so now I have it put on a separate coil. I'm hooked up by the green wire, it sends a signal. So now I'm gonna give it power and we're gonna find out uh, what happens here. Switch box is getting power. I think that switch box is getting power. I'm trying to avoid hitting this because I know that's getting power. That's getting power. I'm trying to get to the screws. That's getting power.
Yep, the screws are getting power. So the switch box is completely powered on. I have everything connected here. And again, I hear something. Let me try to loosen that up. And nothing. So, uh, your diagnosis is that the Swiss box is bad. I've tried two separate coils. Uh, what can you do? Okay, so what I did was hook up a, a good Swiss box. Have everything jumpered. So we have power, power. I have the uh, brown and white connected, and then I have the ground right there, and I have a coil over here. <clears throat> right, so, yep, as you can see, it works, so it has to be. Has to be a bad switch box, unfortunately, but you know, it's worth the gamble. So, um, we go from there, and uh, okay, so now we're looking for spark. As you can see, the trigger trigger is good. I can turn off the lights just for better, better demonstration. messed up did not ground the distributor but luckily no damage was uh, happening and as you can see there is a well, as you can see there is a, a spark there well, as bright as I would like it to be but the trigger does work. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, the uh, trigger works. Uh, the uh, switch box did not work, um, but um, I saw about uh, the part of the testing just to make sure that they actually work. So this uh, distributor needs new bearings, just so it runs smoothly because it's all rusted, all 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 to hell. So hey, I appreciate you guys for watching and uh, all, all of the uh, support.